and welcome back. I'm very sorry for the sound quality, unfortunately. One of the two smaller living creatures in this house has uh, played the game of hide the microphone. So now I have to try and find the tiny little black bag that had my lapel mic in it. And I've been looking all day and I can't find it. So, good times. So, what are we up to today? Today is the end of day 14, and that means it's time for a weigh-in. So, the old numbers are up here, I think, and the new ones are up here, or the other way around. One of the two. Anyway, they're up on screen at the moment. So, uh, today... I'm not gonna lie, today was a little bit difficult. Not food-wise or anything. No, 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 no. The long and short of it is uh, today I was a little bit out of sorts. I was a little bit annoyed throughout the day. Um, I didn't eat up until quite late, till after, uh, after 7, 7.30 in fact. I was grumpy, I was irritable. I think my problems and what caused it all started last night. I, you know, I recorded the vlog. I, I went to uh, went and uploaded it and got everything edited and put it online. And while I was doing that, I ate the uh, ate the oatmeal experiment gone wrong, uh, and had a glass of water. And by the time everything had been done and sorted, which is taking longer and longer every single night because. I'm having trouble with uh, with Google Photos. Um, <laughs> for some reason, when I plug my phone in to uh, to the computer, it doesn't recognize that there's any files on my phone. It doesn't see that there's any videos, any songs, anything. So it just comes up blank. So I have to upload my video from my phone to Google. Then I have to download the video file from Google onto the computer so that I can then edit it in Lightworks and then upload it to YouTube. Which is very convoluted and a pain in my backside. But anyway, when I've been doing that the last couple of nights, uh, it's been taking upwards of about two hours for Google to pop up and say, oh yeah, yeah, you can download this now. It, it keeps coming up and saying uh, uh, this, uh, the, this is still being processed, you can watch it in 360p, but full full definition isn't available. Even though I've got it full screen and it's the normal 720p and I'm watching it and it's perfect. Technology, yay! Last night I ended up going to bed around about one or two o'clock in the morning, I think it was closer to two, and it took me a little while to go to sleep. Uh, then when I woke up, I got woken up by Rowan at eight o'clock. Usually that isn't an issue, but with going to bed quite late, a bit of a problem. Also, recently he's been sleeping in until around about nine, so I figured I would have, you know, about seven hours of sleep as opposed to six. So that wasn't great either. Got up and went, took my photographs, uh, you know, of me in underwear because progress pictures, and eventually at some point when I'm down towards goal weight, I'm probably gonna put them together in like a time lapse because I think that'll be interesting to see. Uh, took my photographs, went to the bathroom, you know, did, did what you normally do and weighed myself. And I came up as today's weight, which is 124.1 kilos or mm, yeah, pounds. And that is actually more than I weighed yesterday. So at, uh, at the beginning of day 13, I weighed myself. I weighed myself at the beginning of every single day, around about, around about 9, 10 o'clock, something like that. And yesterday I was 123.6. So somehow overnight, I think through a combination of eating pretty late and waking up a lot earlier than usual, was like half a kilo heavier. Now, you know, water weight and stuff like that, I know there's going to be fluctuations, but that didn't really help my mental state. Uh, so, 
meh, you know, that's on me. I, I kind of put it out of my head and, and gone with life. Uh, had a normal day with the boy and the cat where, you know, the pair of them are trying to murder each other at various different points and destroy the house and I've got to sort of keep everything going, keep everything still and sorted. Uh, had a really early morning trip to the shop because I forgot to buy milk the other night. And, yeah, now I've got all that sorted, got the boy sorted, got to lunchtime, got him his lunch, got him sorted, fed him, put him down for sleep, thinking, oh, well, you know, I'll, I'll go in the kitchen while he's asleep. I'll get my bread sorted, because I was baking bread today. Um, maybe try and get other things sorted as well, get all that out the way with, done. And because I was still tired, I fell asleep. So me and him just slept in his room on his bed and the cat came up and curled up on my legs and went to sleep as well. So it was, it was nice and it was adorable, I'm sure, apart from, you know, this being in the picture. But yeah, so I didn't get what I wanted to do at the time that I wanted to do it done, which again, not great. Uh, I woke up and thought, right, I can get up, I can get out of the out of the room, I can, you know, come and do the things, the boy's probably going to be asleep for another hour, and he woke up immediately, the moment I started moving. Yeah, <laughs> can't really do anything with that, can you? So, uh, so, came in here with the boy, uh, threw, my, uh, threw my bread mix together, which is just wholemeal flour, a bit of yeast, a bit of salt, a little bit of warm water, got all that sorted, set it to rise, and the moment that I, I covered it with a tea towel and was like, right, okay, that's going to rise, let's get out of here, the cat jumped up on the worktop and stepped in the bowl. So, no fluff inside the bread, but there were, you know, four tiny little paw prints inside the dough when it had eventually finished rising. So that was, uh, you know, that was great. Um, got that all sorted, put it in the, uh, like, you know, kneaded it and, and whatnot, laid it out on, uh, on the baking tray, cut a little, uh, cut a couple of slices in the top for air to get out, banged it in the oven, took a photograph, you can see that now, Boop. And then afterwards, just, you know, that was, that was that. I, I forgot to take a photograph of it while it was, you know, while it was after it had been done. Um, but I did take some photographs of dinner when I finally got it. So I, uh, I, I took some time, I, I threw in some, uh, some wholemeal pasta. I, I did like a, a, sort of like a marinara sauce slash baked beans combo thing with quinoa in it. And I've got absolutely tons of that. So that's going to be like a sort of like baked beans-esque that I can put on a potato or toast or whatever. Uh, I can use it to make up another batch of like spag bowl stuff. Um, make garlic bread with the, uh, with the bread that I baked and you know, photo of dinner that's got that on there. It was really, really tasty. I did grind, uh, grind a little bit of garlic in. So if you get toast or any sort of bread, usually deep fried is what I found, especially in, uh, in the Czech Republic, you get bread that is crusty and hard and what have you, and an actual piece of garlic. And you just grate it in and it tastes amazing. And really, really strong of garlic, strongly of garlic, and uh, yeah, it's 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 awesome. So my dinner, amazing. I, I could not fault it, but I you know I sort of said right, I'm gonna have an hour and a half of, of just sitting down and not doing anything because all day I've been up and running and doing things, and I I just needed time to decompress, and the moment I sat down. <laughs> More things went wrong, um, yeah, it, it just wasn't good. I ended up losing my temper a little bit and being like, look, just, just give me time to just eat my food. 
which I feel bad about. I really do. I, I've, you know, apologised to people and, and just sort of tried to do the things that I need to do and have needed to do after that's been done. And I'm feeling a lot better now. Like, I, I'm feeling a lot back, a lot more into it. So I think the lesson to take away is try and get more sleep, make sure that I'm drinking more water, try not to skip a meal, because apparently that does awful things to me. Um, yeah, you know, just sort of move forward as best I can. Well, today, just before bed, it's, it's already about 11 o'clock, so I might even just leave it. In fact, I think I probably will, but tomorrow, first thing, I'm going to make some oat clusters using the, uh, using the recipe from, uh, from Dylan of Well Your World. It's the, uh, the one that he's just put up not too long ago, actually. Um, it's, it's like the featured video on his uh, YouTube profile, if you go on there. Um, it's like a, a slightly modified recipe to before. So, uh, I, you know, I picked up some dates and things like that for, for making that and picked up some applesauce today. So, should be, should be good. I should be able to get something like that done and I'll have just like a quick snack item that I can just throw in my face. I don't think there's anything else to talk about. So I'm gonna call it here again. Um, I'm gonna see you all again when I see you. And yeah, have a good one. Hopefully, you know, hopefully you're doing pretty well. You're doing pretty good. If, um, yeah, Try not to bottle things in. Bottling things in is not good. But also when you, you know, let it out gradually, don't just turn into a rage monster. Like, that's never good. So yeah, thanks very much. Bye-bye.